We've got a disturbing story to tell you about. Out of St. Louis, six people have been missing for months, and police now believe they've been lured into an online cult. A mother and her daughter, along with four other people, were last seen six months ago. Police in Missouri now say they're following the teachings of a former rapper and convicted child molester. NBC News correspondent Kathy Park is following this one for us. So, Kathy, the story is quite strange, to say the very least. What have you learned about these six people, as well as the alleged cult leader? Hey there, Zinkley. Yeah, this certainly is a troubling story, especially as we continue to dig into the details. Uh, we know that those six individuals, they all went missing around August of 2023 from the St. Louis area. And we have some images to share with you. Police have released these uh, photos, these surveillance images from a store shortly before their disappearance. Um, but they did not specify exactly where uh, this was located. But as far as the alleged cult leader goes, uh, police say the individual is Rashad Jamal. And right now. He's serving an 18-year prison sentence. He was convicted of child molestation. And most recently, he gave an interview to the St. Louis Post-Dispatch. And during that interview, uh, via a phone conference, because he currently is still in prison, he said that he operates a spiritual channel via YouTube. And he shares his opinions and thoughts from a wide range of topics, everything from world history, black history, quantum physics. And therefore, because he's sharing his opinions, he is not the leader of a cult. He also denies knowing any of those individuals who are currently missing in St. Louis. And those individuals, some of those images we're seeing are their last sightings. Kathy, have we heard anything from the family of those who are now missing? Yeah, some of the family members have spoken to our local affiliate in St. Louis, KSDK. Um, we actually heard from the mother of Michaela Wickerson, and obviously her, her mom is extremely distraught. She last saw her in August. Here's a little bit more from that interview. Take a listen. She was uh, probably suffering from postpartum depression. And these people online, and they just preyed on her weakness. I know that people have many different opinions of this, but if it was their family member, everybody wants to know that their family member is well. She chooses to still stay uh, out. I just would like to know that her and my granddaughter are safe. That's all. If she can just contact us and let us know. Now, our affiliate also spoke with Michaela's neighbor, and she was renting that home at the time, and apparently there were several people who moved in, and that's when things uh, took a bit of a turn. There were times when they noticed uh, these individuals outside meditating without any clothes on. Uh, we also heard from another family member who is missing a grandson and her daughter. Um, she said they were living in Mississippi several months ago, and then all of a sudden decided to move to Missouri without any further explanation. Zinkley. Well, hopefully some explanations come soon. Kathy Park, thank you. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.